he does bang of Arsenal a little bit though still, Paddy. Probably because he know. used to play for them. <laughs> I know, I can't wash that off him. This video is being brought to you with thanks to our friends at Surfshark. Surfshark is an app, a browser extension, that allows you to not only browse the internet entirely anonymously, but also very securely. Surfshark will secure your data with industry-leading measures using uncrackable encryption and the most secure VPN protocols. One subscription with Surfshark will work across all of your devices. I use it for unlocking things like American Netflix. We also use it if we want to watch our Canadian DAZN account and a couple of other bits and pieces. The good news is you can get 83% off. That's right, I did say 83% off and an additional three months free using the Anfield Agenda link in the description. They've also got a really credible and unique 30 day money back guarantee. If you don't like Surfshark, it doesn't meet your needs, which I'm going to be honest with you, it will and you won't. But if you do, if you want to change, Surfshark give you 30 days to change your mind. Why not give Surfshark a try? You'll be supporting us here at Anfield Agenda and you'll be treating yourself to the best VPN provider out there, bar none. The obvious one that has been bandied around over the past week since we heard about Sadio Mane wanting to move on, and that's Serge Gnabry, who is in a very similar contractual situation right now to Sadio Mane. Um, I believe he's had a final contract offer from Bayern Munich, which, if rumours are reported to be believed, he's turned down. Um, what about an idea of a somewhat swap deal there, Chris? I don't know the exact figures either side, but... I would imagine it's not a... We wouldn't be a million miles away from each other. I mean, figures I've seen suggest Bayern value Canabry at about £68 million, but they take 30 to £35 million. Yeah. I, I'd love Canabry. I mean, the last two, three years ago, I thought he would he could push on to be one of the best wingers in the world. Hasn't really quite worked out that way, but he's still been very consistent for Bayern. Um, he's quick. Um, you can get a quick cross in. He's a good finisher. Um, he'd be someone I'd definitely be looking at. And he can play on the right-hand side all through the middle. And that that would be the versatility we would need as well. He does bang of Arsenal a little bit, though, still, Paddy. Probably because he know, used to play for them. <laughs> I know, I can't wash that off him. You know what I mean? I, I found it hard to wash the stench of Arsenal off Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, and eventually I got there. But, I don't know, Gnabry, I'm always... I've, I've never been fully convinced of. I just wonder, has he? did he find a team and a system and a way of playing at Bayern that, that just suited him or just worked. Nabry is a nearly man. Not been consistent enough whatsoever. Um, and by the way, league performances in the Bundesliga is something I will never really read too much into, uh, especially when you're playing for the team in the Bundesliga. I think it's very easy to look good in a team like that and a system like that. He's... Um, I would not accept him as a replacement for Salah. I think that would be pathetic from the club. Pathetic. He would be very yeah, torpy, perfect wording. It would be wholly underwhelming. If you brought him in along with someone else, like, you know, two two new recruits on the right, then maybe I'd listen. But I would be looking at Nabry as more of a backup to a main man. I w yeah, I, I agree. I, I think, though, he, he did stand out a lot at Hoffenheim and uh, when he when he was there. Got, like got them into the Champions League. Uh, Werder Bremen, he, he did well as well. Um, so they're Fuck not. Me. How many clubs has Gnabry played for? Because there was a West Brom right. or Middlesbrough or somebody as well, wasn't he? he was totally utilized for a little bit. Didn't do well, but he he stood out before he went to Bayern Munich. Like he he's still a like very very good player. But I do agree, as a direct replacement for Mo Salah, there's very very few players who will be able to fill that void. So we're probably going to have to have to fill it with three. Uh, two or three players. Yeah, to me, this Paddy seems like more of a convenience rather than somebody who I think we should really be after. I, he could be one of those where you sign him, the fans are kind of underwhelmed, and he could prove to be a, a masterstroke. But yeah, I feel like it's one of the, like I think that's a lot of the lot of the articles we see. It's just journalists and people conjuring up a likely story rather than end with a bit of basis. If there's any Bayern player I'd love to be tapping up, it it'd be. Uh, Leroy Sané, I think he is different gravy. I know he's on the left, but I would love Sané. I think Sané is class. I know he has a bit of an attitude problem or something like that, but I don't know. I, I've seen him, what he can do firsthand against Liverpool. He always, and I mean always, caused those trouble. He's a I phenomenal I shit player. myself every time City brought him off the bench. Yeah, he was yeah. a danger man. Always done something. Class player. 
Yeah, I wouldn't say no to a bit of Leroy Sane. I have to say I wanted him when he was at Schalke before he went near Manchester City. And um, I was expecting him to have a, a much greater impact, Chris, on Manchester City than, than he had over the course of his time there. I suppose, yeah. I think we've, as Liverpool fans, have blown his impact to City out, out of proportion a little bit because... He he always terrorised us. He always made us look a bit look a bit silly. But in the end, he became a bit of a squad player. And I think in any other team in the world, he could have kicked on and been something different levels. He could have been one of the best in the world. Um, and by the since the time he's gone to Bayern, yeah, he's been good, but he's not quite hit the heights that we all thought he would do. I wouldn't say no, but personally, I'd probably prefer Gnabry purely because I think we've got Diaz on the on that left hand side, who is probably going to be irreplaceable. Um, and I think we just need a backup on the right hand side. I'd go for I'd go for Nabry. Everything you want in the box to the left. <laughs> Christian Pulisic, sir. That name is being bandied about. Now you know my take on this. Everybody knows my take on this. LeBron James is soccer. I am all over it. I love it. As again, as a backup to Luis Diaz, I think it's phenomenal. Would be phenomenal. I rate him so much. I always liked him. I wanted him when he was at Dortmund. I've always had a weird thing about him. He's a danger man. He, his finishing is a bit poor, but he always, always, always finds himself in the danger area. And I think he would be a shrewd bit of business should you get him for a decent price. Only concerns I would have, Chris, um, would be a few niggly injuries that he's picked up. He, he hasn't really been able to get a prolonged run in that Chelsea starting eleven. Yeah, he always looks dangerous, doesn't he, Pulisic? I, for me, I'm not convinced. And the injuries are part of the reason. Um, I just think, as, as I said previously, the, the goal record will be concerning. Um, we will need to replace Mane with someone who can provide at least half the output, uh, let alone what what he has done. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I, I, I would take him, of course. as, as part of, He's always dangerous, but uh, but yeah, not someone who I would look to start. Well, that, has anyone seen any idea of a price mentioned? Because I haven't Nothing. about, about I, Pulisic. I think he... Um, think it'll be more expensive because it's us yeah i would imagine so i mean very rare we do business with top four top six clubs in general but chelsea do have form for if they deem a player surplus to requirements for selling him and not really caring where he goes you've be seen it with united and chelsea a few times as well i mean he'd be high up my list paddy he'd be high on my top of potential priority targets if he's available of course he's chelsea's player but if he is available i take him in a heartbeat yeah i really i don't know what it is i really do like him i think his transfer value is about 50 million euro which is a bit steep only 23 he 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 speaks german he get on with Klopp. i think I, i'm all over it to be honest i know he has injury problems but i'm sure he could be managed um I would love a punt at him. I can't lie. I really excite. He's, I mean, he always excites me. To be fair, if it was a comparison between Pulisic and Nabry, I'd take Nabry every time. Just... Oh God, no! I'd have Pulisic. Yeah. Every would you? Single day of the week over Nabry. Do you yeah, think? Same. I think that's that's pure the eye test, though. Statistically, Gnabry is far better. Yeah, but look, I, I was going to say you have to compare the leagues, but. To be fair, Pulisic played in Germany for a while, but you also have to take into account Nabry would be, what, four years older, probably? He was, what, 26, 27, Serge Gnabry? 26. <clears throat> yeah, so he's had, he's had three more years as well. His statistics are amazing. Just looking at it from this season, his, his well, I feel like you're, you're the type of fella, Chris, if I was a manager, you would be forced upon me by the club as a stat <laughs> geek, and, and I would pretend to listen to you while I ignore every stat you put in front of me and go and sign... Christian Pulisic. I'd be the first to admit that I'm a dinosaur and that stats have a place in football, but just the eye test for me is that I'm, I'm that I'm that old school, that determined, Paddy, that the eye test for me is enough. I mean, you know, you're going to bring out, pull out these stats and all that, but for me, I, for me, sometimes it's a preference thing. Uh, I just like Pulisic. He scored us the goal that won us the league. You know, he's a, he's a little bit of previous. I I just think it'd be it'd 